हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम राजीव सक्सेना एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्मृति कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन इन दौर इन टूडेज लेक्चर वील डिस्कस अबाउट प्योर कल्चर टेक्निक बट बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्योर कल्चर टेक्निक फर्स्ट वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ मिक्स कल्चर एंड अ प्योर कल्चर नाउ दिस कैन बी अंडरस्टैंड इन सच अ वे like in a laboratory experiment or in any pharmaceutical industry basically we work on a particular category of a bacteria but this bacteria is available from set is available is obtained from certain sources but from whatever source we are taking or isolating the bacteria that source contains not only your desirable bacteria but apart from your desirable bacteria it is also having the combination of different other undesirable bacteria so as you can see in this diagram here i have given one is a mixed culture and one is a pure culture so mixed culture is basically the culture that is having n number of microorganism or bacteria that belongs to different groups like as you can see in the diagram it is having a b c d e f g h means different categories of the bacteria are available so this kind of the culture is actually called as a mixed culture but since if you are performing some experiment if you are working on a particular category of a bacteria then definitely from the mixed culture we have to go for the isolation of the pure culture so what is the pure culture that that is actually the culture that represents only a single kind of a bacteria as you can see in the diagram the mixed culture is having a b c d e f different categories of the bacteria whereas if you talk about the pure culture it is having only a single kind of a bacteria so the colony or the culture that represents only a single kind of a bacteria is called as a pure culture whereas the mixed culture indicates the presence of different categories or different types of the bacteria so in order to get the pure culture different laboratory methods are available so especially if you are talking about the aerobic bacteria then two most popular method which is adopted in any microbiological laboratory number one is a street plating method and number two is a pore plating method so one by one we'll deal with the street plating method and the pure pore plating method now coming to the first method that is called as the street plating method for obtaining the pure culture so as you can see in this diagram that initially we'll have a mixed culture for example if you have brought some water if you have brought some soil in the laboratory definitely it will have different categories of the bacteria and we are calling that culture as a mixed culture so initially you are having a mixed culture in the laboratory now to start with the street plating technique the first device or the instrument that is needed in any microbiology laboratory is actually the inoculation loop as you can see in this diagram this is actually the inoculation loop it is just like a wire that is made up of nichrome so we need that inoculation loop and we have to go for its pre sterilization means before using that inoculation loop for the microbiology laboratory first we have to go for its sterilization the sterilization process of this inoculation loop is very easy we have to put the nichrome wire loop on the burner like bunsen burner and we have to wait till it becomes red hot once it becomes red hot again we have to wait for few seconds to let it cool so because of this red hotness and because of its exposure to the uh, flame whatever the microorganism or whatever the bacteria that is initially available on the surface of this inoculation loop will become destroyed and your uh, inoculation loop will become sterilized so we have to take this sterilized inoculation loop and we have to dip this sterilized inoculation loop in the population of the mixed culture so once you take out once you dip this inoculation loop in the mixed culture so whatever the bacteria which are available in the mixed culture will stick on the surface of this inoculation loop and when you take out the loop then these microorganism or these different population of the bacteria that is having different categories of the bacteria will be stick on the surface of this inoculation loop 
Now the next step is what? We have to go for the preparation of the nutrient agar media. Now in the last class we have already discussed about different categories of the culture media. So we have to go for the preparation of the nutrient agar media which is basically a category of a complex media composed of beef extract, uh, peptone, sodium chloride and agar. Agar here is basically a uh, solidifying agent. So once you go for the preparation of the nutrient agar, again we have to go for its sterilization with the help of an autoclave. Now once you sterilize it with the help of autoclave and as we know that the temperature inside the autoclave is 121 degrees centigrade. So once you take out the sterilized media, it is very hot in nature. So this hot or melted nutrient agar media is poured in a petri dish. But once you pour that nutrient agar media in the petri dish, again you have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes till that the agar become solidified. So at the end of this experiment, you will get solidified nutrient agar plate. And from the previous state, we have the inoculation loop, which is having different categories of the bacteria which are stick on the surface of this inoculation loop, which is made up of nichrome wire. So in the next step, what we have to do, we have to make several strikes of this inoculation loop on the surface of the nutrient agar plate which is having the solidified agar media. Now because of this streaking, because of this multiple streaking, what will happen initially when you start streaking, the maximum or the um, more amount of bacteria will start transferring on the surface of this nutrient agar plate and as soon as you continue to strike on the surface of this plate, the number of microorganisms or the number of bacteria will go on reducing and at the end of this strike, you will find a very small population of the bacteria which will grow in the form of a colony. So, what we have to do? We have to prepare a nutrient agar plate, we have to dip the inoculation loop inside the mixed culture and then we have to make a multiple strike on the surface of this nutrient agar. Now, with the increment, with the striking of the inoculation loop, the number of population which is stick on the surface will go on reducing. So, once you complete this striking process, we have to close the petri plate and we have to keep it for incubation. The incubation temperature is generally 37 degrees centigrade and at least we have to incubate it for 24 hours. Now, after 24 hours at 37 degree exposure, what we will find that these microorganisms which are striped on the surface of the petri dish will develop some colonies. These colonies will be crowded when we will start the uh, striking process because the number of bacteria are very high. So, at the start of the striking surface, we will find that the number of colonies are very much and they are having somewhat overlapping colonies type of structure are seen. But when you continue striking process, then what will happen? At the end of the striking process, the number of bacteria will go on reducing and a very pure colonies are observed at the end of this striking process. So what we have to do, we have to take this petri dish and keep inside the laminar air flow and we have to observe different uh, pure colonies and then with the help of micropipate, we have to take out these pure colonies and again we have to transfer these pure colonies in some uh, liquid broth media and then we have to grow these individual colonies in a separate uh, culture tube and then we have to go for its characterization. So, this method has to be continued till you will get your colony or your pure culture of interest. So, this is actually called as the street plate technique. Again, we will revise the same protocol uh, for your convenience. So, what we have to do? First, we have to take the pure culture. Then, we have to dip the inoculation loop which is made up of nichrome wire. And we have to first go for its pre sterilization by using flame. Then once it is sterilized and you will dip this inoculation loop inside the mixed culture, then you have to strike this inoculation loop on the surface of prepared nutrient agar plate. And this striking will be continued in different fashions and what will happen at the end of the striking process, what we have to do? We have to close the petri dish and keep in a incubator. 
Then after the incubation period, what we will observe? We will observe the presence of different colonies. But initially we will find very crowded colonies as we know that the bacteria grow in a colony. And colony represent always a single category of a bacteria. So what will happen? At the start of the striking process, the number of colonies will be very high. But with the striking process will once it will be continued then you will find that the number of bacteria go on reducing and at the end of the striking process some pure colonies will be observed so you have to pick those colonies and we have to grow that colonies in the uh, microbiology laboratory inside your culture broth and we have to go for its characterization so by this way you can get your pure culture now coming to the next method of uh, identification or for getting the pure culture is by the help of the pore plating method. Again, pore plating method is somewhat very different from that of the streak plating method. So again, we'll uh, discuss this method with the help of this uh, pictorial representation. So what you can see, if we have to perform the pore plating technique inside the laboratory, then first uh, again we need some original inoculum that consists of the mixed population of the bacteria. But apart from this original inoculum, we also have to prepare very uh, so many numbers of the test tube that consists of the nutrient broth. That is actually again in the last class we have discussed the nutrient broth is a kind of a culture media that does not contain any solidifying agent like it is not having the agar. It will have the beef extract, it can have the peptone, it can have the presence of sodium chloride but will not add the agar. Because in the absence of agar, the media will not get solidified and it will be available in the form of liquid. So it is actually called as a nutrient broth. So in this series, what we have to put? First we need some original inoculum. Then we have to put different test tubes that consist of the nutrient broth. Now in each test tube, we have to put around 9 ml of this nutrient broth. Now, what we have to do from this you know, original inoculum, we have to take out 1 ml of this mixed culture and put in the first test tube that consists of 9 ml of the uh, nutrient broth. Then we have to mix it. Now from this first test tube, again we have to take 1 ml of the nutrient broth and put into the next uh, test tube that again consists of 9 ml of the nutrient broth. By this way, we have to go on diluting each test tube till the dilution become 1 is to 1 like. Initially, it will become 1 is to 10, then it will become 1 is to 100, then it will become 1 is to 1000, then it will become 1 is to 10,000 and at the end, we will get 1 is to 1 like dilution. So, once the serial dilution process is completed, we have to take again a sequence of petri dishes. We again have to keep ready the sequence of the petri dishes. So in this petri dish, what we have to do from first test, from first test tube or from the first inoculum, we have to take out 1 ml of that nutrient broth and we have to put in the petri dish and over this we will go for the addition of about to solidify agar. Now what is this about to solidify agar? First we have to prepare the nutrient agar media as usual that we have prepared in the previous experiment also. But when we go for the sterilization, now after sterilization, the temperature inside this nutrient agar is very high. It is around 121 degrees centigrade. So we have to wait for some time till the temperature becomes around 50 to 55 degree centigrade. So that at that temperature, it is actually called as about to solidify agar. Because if we wait for some more time, then what will happen? This agar will become solidified. So here what we have to do, we have to take out 1 ml from the first test tube and put into the petri dish and over that we have to go for the addition of about to solidify agar media. The same process will be continued in the next test tube also, in the third test tube also, in the fourth test tube also and in the fifth test tube also. Now as you can see in this diagram, what is actually happening, initially you are having a mixed population of the inoculum, but when you are continuing the process of dilution, the number of bacteria are actually go on reducing. So once if, one, if we talk about the first test tube, definitely it will have the larger number of the bacteria or larger population of the mixed bacteria. So whatever the colony that will be developed in the first 
petri dish definitely it will again having some crowded nature and some overlapping colonies may be observed but as you continue the process of dilution so what you will find at the end of the petri dish the last petri dish when the dilution is very high the number of bacteria which are initially are very close now because of the dilution they are very far apart from each other and when you grow for go on addition of this one ml into the petri dish these bacteria will have the uh, definitely it will have a larger space to grow and once they grow uh, at 37 degree centigrade uh, overnight incubation then the colonies which will be generated are very far apart from each other and no overlapping mechanism will be observed then again similarly as we have done in the previous experiment we have to go for picking those colonies and go for its characterization and by this way we can go uh, we can reach our pure culture thank you